And a marble he spied with his eye, for there he saw a lady bright come a riding down by the elden tree. She wore a skirt of the grass green silk and a mantle of the velvet vine, and on every lock of a horse's mane rang fifty silver bells and thine. True Thomas he pulled off his cap and he bowed low down to the knee. O oh, hail thou mighty Queen of Heaven, for thy peer on earth I ne'er did see. Oh no, oh no, Thomas, she said, that name does not belong to me, for I am but the Queen of Elfland, and here I come to visit thee. Oh, harp and sing, Thomas, she said, oh, harp and sing along with me, and if you dare to kiss my lips, sure of your body I would be. Betide me well, betide me woe, that fate should never worry me. And he has kissed her ruby lips all underneath the elden tree. Now you must go with me, she said. True Thomas, you must go with me, and you must serve me seven years through well or woe has chance to be. And she has mounted her milk white steed and pulled true Thomas up behind, and with every flick of the silver rein, the steed flew swifter than any wind. And they rode on and further on. The steed flew swifter than any wind until they came to a desert wide, and all living land was left behind. Light down, light down, Thomas, she said, and lay your head upon my knee. Abide and rest a little space, and I will show you marbles three. Oh, see ye not that narrow road, so thick beset by thorn and briar? Oh, that is the path of righteousness, go after it, but few inquire. And see ye not that broad, broad road that lies about the lily eleven? Oh, that is the path of wickedness, though some do call it the road to heaven. And see ye not that bonny road that winds about the ferny bray? Oh, that is the path to fair Elfland, where you and I this night must go. But Thomas, you must hold your tongue, no matter what you may hear or see. For if you speak but a word in Elfland land, you can ne'er return to your own country. So they rode on and further on, waded through water up to the knee. And though they saw neither sun nor moon, they could hear the roaring of the sea. And it was dark, dark night, and there was no starlight. They waded through blood up to the knee, for all the blood that is shed on earth flows through the springs of that country. And then they came to a garden green. She pulled an apple down from the tree. Oh, take this for thy wages, Thomas. It will give thee the tongue that can never lie. My tongue's my own, true Thomas said. A curse this gift you would give to me. Oh, hold thy peace, the lady said. For as I say, so it must be. He wore a cloak of the finest cloth and boots made of the velvet green until seven years had been and passed on earth true thomas was never seen